Hey guys, welcome to another movie review. Today I'm going to be telling you about uh, my thoughts on the new Clint Eastwood film, Jersey Boys. It is a film adaptation of the Broadway musical, uh, musical biopic, I should say, about the Four Seasons Band and the life of Frankie Valli. Um, you just heard a part of um, Oh What a Night, which was, you know, one of the Four Seasons' more notable songs. Uh, and you also heard Frankie Valli's voice in there. So in Jersey Boys, guys, this film is about, you know, kind of how Frankie Valli got his start. Um, you know, kind of how his band had trouble with the mob when they were younger. How they were troublemakers when they were younger. How they got noticed. How they became the Four Seasons. You know, why they were called the Four Seasons. How they came up with the name. And, um, you know, kind of how they got started. How they got the records. How they uh, went from really small singing jobs and really got their own kind of music they really had to work for it after for a while to um become the four seasons that we know today they really had to work hard in order to get there um you know be able to write their own music and to actually have four people they didn't start out with four people to begin with for their band and um so they really went on quite a journey to really become the four seasons that we know today and so this film is all about their journey their ups and downs kind of how they grew apart near the end but came back how they got accepted into the hall of fame all that is covered in this film they cover all that material all within this two-hour film or whatever the length is by clint eastwood so I really enjoyed Jersey Boys, you guys. I know a lot of critics, um, it kind of got mixed reviews. I, I really can't say it got completely horrible or completely praising reviews. It was kind of right in the middle. Um, I can kind of see why some people may like or hate this. Uh, it's, it's a very um, stylized kind of film. You can definitely tell Clint Eastwood's behind it. Uh, a lot of scenes were lit and... Um, shot and executed like a lot of other Clint Eastwood films are, specifically ones he's done over the past few years. But he also added a sense of energy to it that is basically required to make a film about the four, the, the four seasons. So in that regard, I think he did a very good job making and directing this film. Also, if you pay attention closely, Clint Eastwood does technically have a cameo in one scene. You really got to look for it, though. Um, but yes, he is technically in the film at one point, not in a way you would think he would be. Um, but yeah, it is pretty clever if you really look for it at one point in the movie. So for positives and negatives of this film, you guys, uh, there's some terrific singing and music in this. Uh, the people that they got to play the Four Seasons, you know, Frankie Valli and the rest of the band, all did a tremendous job. You can definitely tell, because um, I know a lot of them did the Broadway play back when this was in, um, you know, showing on Broadway. You can definitely tell they're very good at music. They, they know these songs by heart. They know all the rhythms, all the tunes, how to sing it, how to sound like the actual real-life Four Seasons band. So terrific singing and music in this. Clint Eastwood once again did a terrific job with that aspect of the movie. Great acting performances overall. Christopher Walken's in this film. He did a terrific job. Uh, he's kind of in the shadows. He's kind of one of those characters in this film. He's he's good in some scenes, but he's good in bad scenes. You'll see throughout the film, he's a little bit of both. Um, and I think he pulled it off very well. Um, the wife of Frankie Valli was very good. Really, uh, There really wasn't an acting performance I was disappointed with in this film. Everybody did a terrific job acting in the movie. There's some good three-dimensional character building in this. They really show the ups and the downside of having a music career like this. Kind of how there's, you know, there's this downtime when there isn't a lot of success going on with the band. And kind of how, you know, when something's really popular, it's, it's, it's huge. It's, you're always on the road. You're always in concerts. You're always getting promoted, getting album offerings from these music recording studios. It, it really shows the ups and downs of having this big music career like the Four Seasons had. I think the film did a very good job showing both sides of a music career in that sense. And like I said, it, it, show, it has no problem showing you the huge downsides of having a music career like this. I really think, this is my next positive, I really think the film gives the Four Seasons justice. It really tells their story very well, I think. Um, musically, it tells it well. Um, it shows the ups and the downsides. It doesn't completely glorify the Four Seasons. It doesn't completely destroy them or downgrade them or anything. But at the same time, they show their downsides. They show, you know kind of how, you know, band members would cheat on each other. They would steal money from each other. They would steal money from the band's financial successes. And 
they would get in trouble with the mob, they would get in trouble on the side, and they, they really show all aspects of this band's music career in the movie, which is, once again, huge, huge praise to Clint Eastwood. He did a terrific job with this movie. And I, I did cover this already, but I, I guess I wrote this down as an addition, uh, just to remind myself. Um, once again, it, it really does show the ups and downs of music careers. Uh, and not just the four seasons. It kind of shows you know anybody who wants to get into music. It really shows kind of what's, what's the biggest up you can have with a career like this and what's the biggest down you can have with a career like this. It really shows both sides of the fence, and it does it very, very well. For negatives of this film, and these are just huge, huge nitpicks from from my side, just things that I kind of noticed while watching films, I was like, oh, okay, that could have been better. So for the negatives of the, the Jersey Boys film, uh, there were some uneven scene transitions. Uh, some scenes just kind of, they really don't have a closure to the certain idea that they're covering at that time. They just kind of go on to the next scene just because they have to and move the story along okay, but it would have been nice to have more closure to certain ideas because some of them really don't have much closure at all throughout the film. The second act uh, throughout the film had little to no music in it. Um, you know, it's a four scenes it's a movie. Uh, it's a musical biopic. The first act of the film and the third act of the film do a terrific job with this. But somewhere right in the middle, Clint Eastwood decide to not have very much music at all. Uh, it, it kind of, the material in that portion of the film dragged down a little bit. Uh, it kind of was lacking in music in that part of the movie. But once again, first act, third act, had plenty of music, had, you know, plenty of the music side of the Four Seasons Band career covered in those spots. Uh, but I would have liked to have seen that continuation happen in Act uh, Act 2 some more of the movie. Because Act 1 and Act 3 did a terrific job, but unfortunately Act 2 didn't play with that aspect too much. There's also certain scenes in the film that feel longer than they should. Um, I don't know if that's just a sign that maybe the editor should have just cut out some part of it, or they stretched it out in a way where it, it feels longer than it should. So once again, small little nitpick I had, but there were some scenes in this film that felt like they were a little bit longer than they needed to be. There's also some occasional plot structure issues. Uh, one huge notable part of that, negative is uh, there's one part of the film where one of the Four Seasons band members is talking about a huge problem the band went into two years earlier. Problem is, if they really wanted to do that, why didn't they just show that earlier leading up to that scene? It's just like all of a sudden it's now about, oh, well, now we got to show all this 25 minutes of footage of something that happened two years earlier of the event we just watched, and now we have to find a way to go back to that scene and remember that we were at that scene earlier it's just like, why didn't they just put that scene before that one? It just didn't make a lot of sense to me. Watching the film, if I was the editor, I would have done it that way. That way you didn't have to worry about going two years earlier. Okay, now we're back in whatever, 1960, whatever. You know, It, it kind of felt sloppy. I, I didn't really understand why they had to structure it that way. It felt very messy to me. Uh, but there's some occasional little plot structure issues the film runs into. It doesn't hurt the film. It's all good material. I just wish the structure was a little bit more planned out in that regard. So Jersey Boys, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. I really think it's a very good film. If you like The Four Seasons, if you want to hear their story, if you want to see a good musical or musical biopic, once again, Jersey Boys should be a great time in the theater. And if not the theater, always run it at Redbox if you can't see it in the theater. So I think it is shortly on its way out. I don't think it's going to have a lot of theater show times here in the near future simply because it's summer blockbuster season and they gotta move stuff along and things like that but 8.5 out of 10 for me very good film once again if you love the four seasons please give it a view it's very good even if you like clint eastwood clint eastwood once again did a very good job of this movie as a director so um yeah make sure to see jersey boys if you like musical kind of stuff so it really is pretty good